So it's hot. <laughs> so hot. Listen, this shirt here does not mean he's going to beat his wife, everyone. Why is it called a white beater? Uh, because old white guys used to wear it when they beat their wives. No? I was trained that it's called an undershirt or a marine. Marine, I think. Yeah, I see marine. Culture. People look at me like, what the frick a marine? I said, uh, like, you know? Like, <laughs> you don't know what a marine is? Yeah. But it's that's 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 European culture right there. European culture. Yeah, um, I think there's a, a the old black and white movie called A Streetcar Named Desire, and A Streetcar Named Desire has a, has the dude in the white beater about to beat up his girl. She's going crazy because life ain't good for them. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Classic story of American European justice for the ladies. Wow. Let me see. Um, all right, let's get into it. First off the rip, we are in election mode. All right. I want to ask you off the parade. You vote. I'm going to put you on the vote for this part. I'm telling every motherfucker I vote for Aaron O'Toole. That's what I'm voting for. I'm going to vote for the this party, The PPC, the People Party of Canada. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to stay voting for the same people I've been voting for since I could vote. And that's those repping the orange. Straight up NDP. Social services, anybody who gives welfare, um, money to the arts, okay. and he takes care of the communities, and, okay. and um, uh, ODSP, people that need help. You're going, you're going, you're going to NDP. I'm going to NDP just because I'm not, I don't feel like my vote is going to change the outcome of an election. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just a, a, a way that, you know, I can say, well, I did something, I contributed. I hear you. Are we, are we ready for this? Is, is Canada ready for its first Indian prime minister and first lady? I don't think so. I mean, come sit the fuck down, nigga. I'm proud of myself. People are here, like, I'm asking you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't crush that by hand. That's just that's a crush. Stick. You can't crush, bro, you can't crush that by hand. This nigga brought some 1990s <laughs> sticky green fucking shit. Yeah, that shit's sticky. That's, that, 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 that's sticky. Right. This one here, these 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 buds is brought to you by my brother Spandy Camp and the Cushman. Yes, you feel me? All out this spot, you know. Get that. Get that. Mobile dispenser, you driving around, you know, get down. Mo e mobile. That's all you need to know. And to the people that is bothering me while I'm on live, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> so you think are we ready for a change of cultural president? You know what I'm saying? So America wasn't ready for Obama, they say. Is Canada ready for someone that is not a white person? Because um, in our real history, I think we get white people as prime minister. For sure. Someone facts check that. I may be wrong. I mean, maybe maybe there was a, a mixed person or something. But then, like, he wasn't white. He was Franco <laughs> 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 Nah, no, you was white, bro. I. Uh, you don't think you're ready? I think we're. I think it's like. So you're saying vote on NDP, so you're saying we're ready to change. But this is what it is, right? This is what. What did Obama do for black people? Nothing. So we know that the person that is coming in, which is the Indian person, that Indian person is not going to do. Well, I mean, maybe Indian, because different cultures are different cultures. You know, the black president ain't doing shit for the black people. I mean, the Indian president, she might even get, she'll get fired for doing something for her people. Okay. And and the black guy, I agree with you, and the black guys will, like, 
Look at Africa. Just just look at Africa. All the all the like the takeovers, the coups. Yeah. It's the military that takes so the they president. Segway. Boom. Segway. Well, Segway into what's your take on what you see happening in Afghanistan, though? I'm gonna tell you something. I see the man hanging off the goddamn plane. When I see him hanging off that plane, I see the man hanging off a plane. Like you see him fall? I, when the plane I, I, didn't want, I didn't want to see that. I don't want to see You're it. I know, I know when the plane goes too high up, I know it's gonna be really hard to breathe. Cold. Oh, yeah, it gets cold if the air gets thin when you get up high. But think about what the message the man is saying. The man is saying, I'd rather risk my life getting out of here than. Let them focus here. So, so when someone's moving like that, it, it makes me think back of my people in slavery. Thinking, yo, my people in slavery did some fuckery. Well, a man's only doing fuckery to escape more fuckery. Yes, That's sir. what a lot of people don't realize. You're doing fuckery to escape more fuckery. Hurt, That's the part a lot of people don't get. Hurt people hurt people. Okay? So, there's people that are war torn. Shut up, all my Somalians. Oh, yeah. War torn. Yeah. So we see that, like, translating into the hoods and what's going on. Like, uh, Jamaicans, Jamaicans were war torn, but that's uh, amongst no, themselves. Civil war. Exactly. <laughs> war torn with actual civil yeah, war. Yeah. But that's what I'm trying to say is, imagine those the Somalis never went through um, slavery as the same way the Caribbean did, but the same PTSD. Because if you look in Toronto, who's the like the worst? The worst groups are the Jamaicans and the friggin, um, the Jamaicans and the Somalian. You say two people with extensive PTSD history. Exactly. That's why on my Instagram, if you follow on Instagram, I posted PTSD because PTSD is very, very, very prevalent in the community for the average person. It's affecting everybody. I always tell people this example. I say, do you want to go out tonight? They say, no, I don't want to go out tonight. I just want to drive by this. You are actually a victim of the gun violence. PTSD, yes. You have PTSD. I yes. don't know. Nothing no, happened to you. You're not involved in nothing. But because you're now changing your routine, you're now changing how you act, you're now changing your regular pattern of behavior, now you are a person, you, you don't even realize it. You're affected by what you're surrounded by. You hear it on the news. You see it in your newspaper. God knows we all go on our phones. We all have pages we follow. And... It's only so long before you're like, God damn, this is... And that's what it is, right? They, it the people, takes a pull on. The powers that be, they know that when what you see affects you. Only help everybody else. Good yeah, down. Help the people. Help the people, huh? Weird, 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 weird. You always say my thumbs too fucking your business and shit. Right? Yeah, no, don't worry. Yeah, they, they knew what they were doing. They were uh, making it for small Asian type guys. Well, now I say that too. Now I segue from that to said, well, the DJ drama. Who, Snoopy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Snoopy. I love him. Yeah, I, I, I love him. I love him. I love him. Yo, listen. He's, uh, he works hard. It's just that once, once you buy into the drama, once you buy into the, if that's what your image is, that's what you're using to sell now. My question I pose to you now is this, bro. Can you play the internet in a safe way where you're monetizing the internet, you're monetizing fault creed, violence, arguing without it coming back to you? you yo, Has somebody ever beat the internet? Has someone done a bag of fault creed or doing all the most or you're threatening this man on live? You see yeah, people yeah, chasing yeah, people yeah. and yet you see nothing reach them. Yo, Everybody I see, something reach them. Hold on. The guy who started it all. Who? The one that said, Drake! Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy. What touch Soldier Boy? And so, what touch Soldier Boy? And he's saying it's right. Oh, I mean, that two two comments. Two two comments. Read up, read up. Oh, DJ CD needs to write up for the people that got shot at the time. Yo, I think of y'all. I think of y'all. Hold on. Yo, you all hold on. Like, so, so. No, yo, hold on. Hold on. What, what kind of people would want to attend that type of party? You have to ask yourself hey. and say, yo, think about it. On one day you hear there's a couple parties. What kind of party do you want to go to? So Listen. I think if I think to myself, why would you want to put yourself in that type of prediction? Listen, first of all, I, I, I personally was like, yeah, he has drama, but I didn't think this shit was going to I thought there'd be a girl fight. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought maybe there'd be a girl fight there. Well, you know, the gunshot doesn't spread because you're not you're online arguing with like some actual people. Like, oh, you're, you seem like you're online arguing kind of consistently. It's like, I don't know. And you know what's talking about? Like, my, my, grand, my grandmother always said, you have so much problems with people, you can't even narrow it down. Yeah. That's no. what sucks about like when you have so much problems, you can't narrow it down to who's troubling you. That's what you want. Hold on, though. This is what I personally, I want to know. I want to talk to him because you know what? Tell him pull up for interview. Because you know what? Yo, pull up, Snoopy. <laughs> but this is, what, this is what it is. It's like, yo, of all the different people that you're interacting with, like, it's like, who's coming to you for real? Is any of this organized? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, that's what we're talking about. And you ask the question, can it be done? But they just did it. And this is a segue well, again. Don't get me wrong. I see people do fuckery, it equates to views. I see people do fuckery, it equates to streams. I see people do stuff that equates to stuff. So I'm like, okay, maybe there's a reason why people do it. I, I always say, no one does no one does stuff just to do. People do it for a reason. Yeah. Well, the, the, that's what I'm trying to say. The people who just did it the best, and this is a segue into the verses. Mm. Dipset and and um, mm. the locks, they were going back and forth for like a month. Okay. Right? Okay. If, Building a pipe in anticipation. Exactly. But okay. they were they were getting chippy with each other. They were disrespecting as, as at think, first. Acting is always kind of... But as an OG, you can look at the way they were talking to each other and realize, oh shit, this is actually like it's not. I'm I'm not worried that it could go out of hand. Exactly. You know that there are two people that they're getting at each other. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And then it's like a WWE vibe. You know what I'm saying? Because truthfully, what's battle rap? Nobody's killing each other in battle rap. Right? I think, and I think that's what versus like to say versus show the ability to say, hey, you have two people. Because no one wants to be versus originally because people thought it was people think versus they think sound clash or freestyle battle. Yeah. And everybody's reluctant. Nobody wants to think L, nobody wants to stand there someone. But now you're realizing yeah. it could be fun, it could be marketable. I can make fun of you, you can make fun of me. Or, we could, and then we could do something to help build each other up. But this is the whole thing. This is the thing. Oh, we got a lot of nice comments. Oh, God oh. damn it. Who that? The pencil. Look, no, this is not. I can't. You gonna get more fucking. Yeah. That's what happened when the internet died. Eventually, they come to hell a lockdown. He carried on during the lockdown. Now things are open. Don't let, do not net bang if you're ready to get that get back in block. What is that? No, so you know you say like, uh, well, when we were on lockdown. There was a lot of internet like fuck three one and a yeah. lot of people talking with their chest up. <laughs> it's open now. Things are open now. And now it's like, wait a minute, you may not want to talk with that same energy. And now you're not keeping the same yeah, energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that's the everyone kind of fell victim to hey, it's lockdown time. Nobody's seeing me I'm in my house. What are they gonna do? Yeah, yeah, everyone <laughs> everyone looking at their front door and locked and go, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> like, how much how much people went to like their mom's house and bought a house in Barry, Burlington? Like they're out of here, they're not even nowhere near the place. Like, yeah, fuck you niggas over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, so definitely. So then it makes me say, you went you went that with the verses. So now my thing is, has Toronto lost its sauce? Toronto? No, 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 no. Because it's still not, no, the reason I'm saying the verses, I'm saying the verses show you, JK showed you the ability that real rap matter, lyrics matter. Mm -hmm. Now, Toronto, Toronto. hold on, hold on now. Toronto, do we produce that type of sound out there? Of course. Keep in mind, like, Drake just gave Swaggy a hell of a feature. No, 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 no. I like it. Obviously, Drake is not a part of the rap game no more. He's a pop artist. He's a pop artist. How much bars does he do speak? We, so do we have artists like Yes, yes. We got the governors. Okay. We got the governors. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. A super group. Okay. You heard of Wubla? You it's heard of freaking It's a super group. Yeah, it's a super group. <laughs> it's a super group. Governors. Point blank, legendary Toronto hip hop group. Okay. Concrete mob, legendary hip hop group. Come together to make a super group mm -hmm. called the governors. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to governors. Go check out that started in the video featuring me, yours truly, 
And and the verse is talking about what we're talking about. These little rappers popping stuff to so, get, and then when they get confronted. That's what I want to say. The Anakin's are showing you lyrics, cadence, punchlines, metaphor. Jadakins are showing you people love that shit. But at the same time, remember, Jadakins wasn't selling the most. Again. So hold on, hold on. Jadakins notoriously does not sell the most. People like the melodic singing, that type of stuff, that sells. But I do think when those two things meet, real rap will always open sass. But, but when they meet, but no, when they're but both they're not because they're not selling, so they're meeting at the radio and that melodic shit's whipping his ass. Okay. But it's the arena versus this arena. Mm. Once you step in the ring, don't worry about singing and dancing. Okay. okay. If it was a dance off, okay. You understand? But it's a because race. certain songs make you move, you know, certain like and I it, personally think Dipset left a lot of songs on the table. And I think they left a lot of bangers. But Jada Kiss does a tactic where he does this thing where it's like, oh, you ain't, you, you don't have real rap. Then you fall into his trap of trying to show him you have real rap, and, you and you're not gonna out real rap so, Jadakiss. Yeah, it's about the strategy in the arena, and this this arena is a battle. So he drew them out. He, yeah. he, listen, Cam yeah. Cam wasn't even. You could tell though. Dipset was Dipset was. Um, they were they didn't plan their things. You understand what I'm saying? The, D Black planned their shit. See, this guy, D Black already had a girl's, met a girl's, um, a couple girls things. Yeah, we'll and then this guy goes, You ain't got no girls' tracks. He goes, Play the medley. You know what a medley is? A medley means it like they're put together, like, I'm gonna stop this here and put it, like they planned that shit. Yeah, Play the girls' medley. Yeah, yeah, they have the shit with Mariah Carey. Yo, I'm gonna get a search. You know what, I'm saying? what are we doing here? What are we doing here, New York? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, My nigga Jada. No, Jada Kiss for the verse, that's MVP, but it shows you the importance of it shows you the importance of being ready. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all tell you right now. Lloyd Banks in 50 Cent of the G unit, I know they can see them niggas any day. I know they can see them niggas. I'm gonna rat that. I'm gonna rat that. Hold on, hold on. Lloyd Banks couldn't finish the album because of that one. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. He has a five percent album. He yeah. has a five percent album. So does Jada. But not Salsy. Ah, right, you see that? You like this? You like this? You like this? Listen. So hold on. It's fifty years. What about Tony Yayo? What about Tony Yayo? Tony Yayo got a five percent album. Thoughts for Freddie Kid Thunder. Okay. Shout out Tony Yayo. Everybody in June is black. Remember, all shit sell. Game shit sell. I'm rich as hell. What's wrong with you? 50 got all of it. Holy oh, shit. Game ain't part of G unit. Don't call games. His, con his contract said different. Don't call his game contract said different. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. SP and Jada are tied. Same level. What the fuck? Styles P and Jada. Jada Kiss is ahead of Styles P solely based on the fact that he has. He's a real rap. Like he's, he's, Listen, he's in the mainstream. Yo, if you watch the verses, you saw the two leaders of the two crews come out, and they're, 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 you can see their energy. Jada versus Cam. Cam didn't even play none of the Confession of Fire. He didn't even play Confession of Fire. He didn't even play I used to get it in Ohio. He didn't play fucking the world to you. Are you stupid, fam? He's the world to you, the banger. Cameron, was, he must Cameron play. didn't play yeah. half of Cameron's hot shit. Well, hold on. He probably is flashing another versus against somebody else. Look, so Jada said, too, this is my second versus. I, I don't I'm, know. I'm saving something for the net, for the war. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me hear. No, Styles P mixtapes, that's actually, they legendary. Styles P mixtapes. His mixtapes, Styles P mixtapes are legendary, no cap. Alone in the streets is my shit. That's my shit right there. Styles P got legendary, but. Yo. Cabra didn't even play his song with what the fuck? He didn't even play Girls on that phone. He didn't even say No, he didn't. Cameron didn't even play Girls just on that phone the remix. Like you have to think about oh. He didn't even play losing weight with strategy. Yo, that was what I'm saying. Camera left a lot of shit on I don't think Cameron like, was like, like, there. Yo, all of these strategies. And that would have brought it back because yo, Prodigy's a love New York MC too. 
you know, you're right, you're right. But god damn, I feel like the Knicks. I feel like I should do the verses for some of the rappers. You know when you're that that type of a rap fan? Like I love rap that much. But you can't go play for the losing team that your team lost in the NBA, so it's the same thing. You know what I mean? It's a possibility. Oh, no, I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still on Facebook. Shout out to my Facebook family. Uh, yeah. We're still here talking about the verses. And um, back to the conversation with, um, um, we were talking about if Toronto has lost its, it's it's buzz, you know, and I don't think so. I think Toronto will always be a buzzing city. And you don't think you don't think Toronto lost its buzz? No. Like, no, not at all. Look, look at the drill, the drill guys. The Who drill. the fuck are you talking about? The drill guys, <laughs> fucking the whole of driftwood jungle. Everybody, no, drilling. I'm not. I'm not letting you do that. I'm not letting you do that. Drilling. No, I'm not. Letting you. If you remove five guys, does Toronto have a music? Hell yeah. If I remove Killy, um, the whole up top GGG movement, that whole movement, oh, that, that, that's one. Remove that. Remove them. Yeah, you still got. Hold on. Remove them. Yeah. Remove them. Yeah. Remove them. Yeah. Yeah. Remove them. Yeah. Hold on. If I were to remove Mustafa the Poet, and I was to remove. Two more people. Some young bucks will come up and do what they're doing. It's about the genre right now. Mm. The genre is um, the standard. So anybody who's coming up, they're going to just take that spot. There's always everybody. We're humans. Art is part of our DNA. So somebody's always going to be rapping. Somebody's always going to be ahead of the scene, ahead of the game. So that is, that is, that is true. I think we're not as hot as we was. I think there was a time we were hot when we were making regular baggers. We're like when CL Cleveland dropped, when Canada Goose dropped. What well, are those songs right now? Okay. What you have to say is why aren't why aren't those artists um, repeating what they did? That's the question. It's not about Toronto. It's about those artists that were dropping those hits at that time. Where are they? Jail, probably. I think a lot of yeah, a lot of legal problems. A lot of uh, yeah. That all holds the artists back. Those are definitely right. a lot. A lot of a lot of artists like to be doing a lot of big things, but a lot of legal trouble holding them back. But then, yeah. Yep. I even think about artists like Top Five. It's like wow. It's top crazy. Five was going. He was. Oh. He was, he was going out on president. But right. guess what? And guess what? When when you're when you're dealing with things. In, in an easy way, that's easy. He's not making classic hits, songs that jet and vibrate with people and, and change people's lives. That's not how he's making making his mark as an artist. He's doing fuckery. He's fucking with people. You know what I'm saying? And that gotta that gotta run out, man. This tracks, you're saying. It's like this. Yeah, you're saying this tracks with attention, but don't don't let don't let that be all you do. It's about negativity. That's Say, what don't, it's about. don't let negativity be on you. That's what I tell my son. You have two wolves inside of you. They're fighting for supremacy inside of you. And which wolf wins is the one you feed the most. And we can see top five feeding his wolf negativity. Mm. So guess what? When you're when the negative wolf takes over, you attract negativity to you. You know what I'm saying? That's something young bucks don't know that. Mm. What you're rapping about. What you see, what you behold, what you chill around every day, that's what you're gonna attract. You know what I'm saying? You want a good girl? You want a good girl that's gonna have a nine to five and take care of you, cook and be smart and do all that? You can't be in the track house, you can't be in the hood 24 7 expecting to have one of these girls in the hood turn into because you're gonna attract the one that is negative. Selling dope. Busting guns, which intelligent, successful yeah, girl wants to be with you? You want to try that? You want definitely try that? 
I can't lie. They want to be with you for like a couple of nights. You know what I'm saying? Say they did it, but they don't want to. They don't want to have your baby and marry you. Most definitely, negativity. You gotta have more positivity than negativity for sure. That's not even a question. Not even a question. That's what's popping. That's really what's popping. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So yeah, listen, man. We coming back. We got we got hot shows. Fab TV got a whole bunch of hot shows. We got we got what's popping. We got Canadian classics. Shout out ghetto stories. Shout out ghetto stories for real. We're gonna be, we're gonna be pushing that a lot Canadian time. classic. Y'all don't understand. That's the whole point of why you're using the rap game so you can be here for a long time. That's really <laughs> one. A lot of artists can't be drinking champagne. They tell them. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and, not a season bet. And shout out to the No Polys podcast. Yo. Yeah, shout out, shout out. I, I, I definitely put it in I see Chris when he's doing it. I see. Price the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. doing it. Definitely, definitely. Price the boss. I like, I, like, I, like, I, like, I like the slogan, No Polys. No Polys, man. That means anybody can come up there. It's so funny. There's one guy from Jungle that is neutral and no Polys. And there's another guy from Jungle. Beer politics. He's a politician. You call it, you politics, the politician. Right? That's what we do. We just talk. We just bring you the news. We just you right? Yeah. General news like that. We ain't doing no digging. Oh shit! Dig for what? Think we look like um, investigator. <laughs> but we, hey, if you're a researcher, give us a couple. We are looking for some good research. Fact check out. Fact check is always key. What's popping, you already know how to pin it down. Subscribe, tune in. Hit the like you button. Know, hit that like button. Feel free to hit that subscribe, share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Follow. All that. What's popping, Fab TV, Pick Up and Drop Ops, TV. All that. TV, you already know how to pin rock. TV dot right? fam. Frosty Rock. Go check out the governors. They got a YouTube. Go check that. You know what I'm saying? Go go to go to um Spotify and check out. I like how he starts the track. Artist. He starts the track thing. Hardest the hardest. I'm like, yo, who's this? I'm like, yo, he came on, he came on so hard. Shout out to Juice Juice. Juice Juice came on a hard. <laughs> yeah, like the energy on the track when it starts. I like that shit. Yeah. I like that shit. What's popping? You're not a big rock. Yeah, we out. We out. Go check out Started It. The governance. <laughs>